Great Pella, if you run to the garden. This is where previous sultans used to skip through their own private entrance into the Hagia Sophia. Top Cappy Palace. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know if the free audio guide would have saved this, but um, I came too late in the day, so please learn from me. There are not enough signs. Like, what is up here? No clue. <laughs> it's a shame because, like, I am really interested in the history and, like, these different sultans, but like I don't care about the garden. There's like some giant other line for something else. It's like holy relic. So I feel like it's a lot to pay. I know it's in a couple of these buildings, but they have like tiny little signs that don't really say that much. Eh? People are just like coming around lost to. This would be awful in <laughs> summer. It's really awful because it's like bugger all shade not many places to sit and still not a whole lot to look at stood in the queue to buy the ticket longer than I have been in here make sure you come early enough to be able to buy the harem so I you know prices change here quite a lot it's 6.50 including the harem section which is supposed to be the best bit and literally the only reason I came But if you don't want to buy it at the ticket gate, then you can join a queue inside to come and buy it, which was another 225. I'm like, but it's literally the guy wouldn't sell it to me. He's like, it's after this time, so I'm not allowed to. And I'm like, I literally am gonna go there straight away. How far away is it? And I get in here, it was less than a five minute walk. But I get it because there's like a big line. This is pretty disappointing. Just like no explanation, not a sign. I'm just supposed to know what that jug is for. That's how it gets used. Tell me what it is I'm supposed to be looking at. Where am I supposed to be going? Why are there no signs? <laughs> so how are you supposed to know? Huh? Can you tell me more than they just belong to the Qing Dynasty? That's a lack of signage. Oh, this is a cafe. Again, there's no sign to tell you. <laughs> But there is so much rich history here that it's just such a missed opportunity. Yeah. I don't often say like, mm, this was not it, worth it. Because usually I like love what I'm doing and seeing. So obviously I haven't seen it all, but of the bits I have seen, this reminds me a little bit of the Forbidden Palace, how this is like heaps of empty space and little, ah there's the exit sign ah oh, exit as you come out there's this Aya Irene which apparently is included in this ticket as well let's see what it's got so do pop in here this Aya Irene that seems to be the only person in here of course there's renovations oh there's birds up here Again, complete lack of signage, so I have no idea what this is, <laughs> no idea what I'm looking at, why this is of any significance. Second oldest underground in the world. I think this is my favourite thing to do. 